Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. I am Chris Agana and today we're turning another K-pop singer into a drag queen. You probably know this, but maybe you don't, but besides being this amazing drag queen of yours, I am also a professional illustrator and I have this series in which I turn celebrities, politicians, singers into drag queens using my illustration skills. I've done it with Barack Obama, I've done it with Donald Trump. In the K-pop world, I've turned Lisa and Jenny from Blackpink into drag queens. And today, it's Shunka's time! Shunha is amazing, I've been reacted to some music videos in the past. The very first one that I reacted to was Stay Tonight and I loved it. Shunha is amazing, she's a great dancer, she has a beautiful face, a beautiful voice, she's just everything. But that's enough talk honey, I have things to do and you have things to do, right? So let's start this right now. Let me get my iPad! Alright, here it is. So I found this beautiful picture of hers and I tried to find pictures in which they don't have any makeup on and this was the one that I found that she was wearing the least amount of makeup. Okay, first I'm gonna start with foundation, which is what I do with myself when I do drag. Like, I don't have this perfect skin, honey. This is hours and hours of work. First, we are going to work on her foundation. Not only foundation, but also some contouring. And contouring is amazing. It can do wonders for the shape of your face. She has a beautiful face. Everyone that I turn into a drag queen, I never try to make them more beautiful because I think everyone is beautiful. And beauty is just a construct. So we're not gonna have that kind of discussion here on my channel. Everyone is beautiful, okay? This picture is very bright. I think there was like a lot of light there. And I'm going to add a little bit more shade to give more depth to her face, like to her nose. Then I'm going to accentuate her cheeks so they kind of like pop out more. This is the same process that I do with myself when I do my drag, okay? So I'm going to erase her eyebrows. That's gonna look weird, I know, I always say that. Because, you know, before we turn into these beautiful creatures that drag queens are, we go through this alien phase, which is when you don't have any eyebrows. And we look a little weird, but it's only temporary, okay? So there you go, I erased her eyebrows, and now I'm going to redraw her eyebrows, okay? I'm going to draw them a little bit higher. You know, drag queens usually are very, like, exaggerated, which, you know, it's not every drag queen that is like that, but, you know, it's just fun to exaggerate. I want to give her like 80s eyebrows, you know, like a little thicker because the 80s are back. Yes. Mmm, that looks good. Alright, the eyebrows are done. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now let's move on to her eyeshadows. Because in this picture she's just very angelical, I want to keep the angelical look because in her videos she looks like sexy and like dangerous with a darker makeup, including her eyeshadows. So here I'm going to do a, like a lot of makeup, but not dark at all. I'm going to do very colorful. So I'm giving her like an 80s colorful look, which basically is like one of my favorite eras for drag or for anything for that matter. But I'm gonna give her big eyelids and then I'm gonna use, I think like pink, yellow and bright blue, like teal, all together, and they're gonna look amazing. Uh, yes, very good. Some eyeshadow underneath her eyes. Then we're gonna move into eyeliner, maybe like a cat eye. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give her a cat eye. I think instead of pulling the eyeliner all the way down to here, I'm going to stop sort of like in the middle of the eye, and that's just gonna look different and very original. I am loving this. Then eyelashes, because eyelashes are essential. I feel like this makeup is going to be very geometrical and you know, that's also very 80s. She's looking good, I must say. For her lips, I'm going to exaggerate them, but like not too much. They're just gonna be a little bit thicker. I'm thinking of a yellow lipstick because that's just so different and I think with the rest of the colors, it's going to look amazing. For the contouring of the lips, I think I'm going for something more like pointy and like sharp, which is going to look so dangerous and like very, very 
Hip. Yes. Oh my god. She's looking fierce already. Okay, earlier I erased her eyebrows and I'm sorry, but now I'm going to have to make her bald. But it's just for a little bit, okay? So bear with me. For her hair, I'm thinking for like a very structured... I'm thinking of like high on top and then almost like without any volume underneath which is going to be also like very very 80s I don't know I think like maybe like Madonna true blue sort of like style yes but we're not gonna do it blonde or maybe we are I don't know oh my gosh she's going to look so cool with this and then I think like very big and geometrical earrings yes Oh, she's looking amazing. And then I think I'm going to give her like a, a low cut top. And that's just gonna look very hip as well. Maybe like a choker, I don't know. No, maybe like a very structured necklace. Maybe that's gonna look cool. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to see it. So please remember that this is all for fun and it's to make things look creative and original and colorful, everything that this channel is, okay? I hope you don't get upset with me with the result, but I mean, I am digging this. I am loving this. So, do you wanna see it? Okay, here it is. Okay, can you please share this video and like share with your friends until it gets to her because can you imagine if she sees this somehow and then she uses this look in one of her next videos? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm having a moment. Can you believe if that happens? That would be amazing. We have a deal, right? Okay, cool. All right, my babies, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media, I am everywhere. You can also see a time-lapse video of this illustration on my Instagram and on my TikTok, okay? So I'll see you next week. Beijinho, beijinho, and bye-bye.